Joining me now is On Balance host Leland Vittert. Uh, Leland, obviously you've been keeping a close eye on this. Philip, they're talking a bit about the logistics. A 10-hour train ride to get in. Cloaked in secrecy, he is now, you know, returned to Poland. But just talk about how much support it takes to keep a sitting president safe in an active war zone. Uh, enormous. And we can't sort of delve into the politics of this yet, right? There's there's a matter of pomp and pageantry that went along with this. And, and yeah, it's a photo op. But at the same time, this is the view of the world, the view of America the world should have, which is the president of the United States showing up in a war zone, supporting our allies and saying, look, we, we are going to come. We are going to be here and we're here to support you for a long time. It's, it says an enormous amount. And remember, President of France has been there. UK prime ministers have been there as well. And there was a lot of discussion of why hasn't President Biden made this journey? We're told by the White House that this in the end was his decision and his alone to make. All right. So his alone to make. You know, there was a lot of Republican pushback saying we have this blank check for Ukraine. Mm -hmm. The president today pledging, you know, approximately 400 million more dollars in aid. Is this essentially the U.S. saying we will continue to support you financially, potentially militarily? Yeah, for, for sure. There, there's so far the Ukrainians have asked for A, B, C, and D. They get A, B, and C. D and E have to wait. A few weeks later, they get D and E. And we keep moving down the alphabet, right? E, F, G, okay. So that's the way this has gone. The commitment to Ukraine by this administration seems to be both sacrosanct and virtually unlimited. Are they going to get nuclear weapons? No. What we're going to be talking about tonight, I think this is very interesting, is on the eve of the president's visit. The Ukrainians knew that the President Biden was coming. Obviously, right now, the Secret Service is all having a few drinks in Poland right. uh, with a team that took him in there and brought him out. But on the eve of this visit, you had the defense minister of Ukraine say that we are going to answer Russia with our tanks in Red Square. Mm -hmm. And you have to wonder if there was a discussion between President Biden and President Zelensky of, look, we will continue to support you, but you have to stop antagonizing Moscow. How much antagonizing is going to be allowed when you're taking more and more U.S. ammunition, U.S. weapon systems? And eventually, we're at the point where the United States is going to have to face a choice. Do they give weapon systems to Ukraine that can be used in long-range attacks against Russia, and that's still to be seen. Antagonizing Russia, that's interesting. Leland, tell us what else uh, will you talk about tonight on the show? Uh, we've got this. We're talking a lot about the street racing uh, yes. that I know that you have come up. I thought it was great to call it not street racing, but street takeovers. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, that there's a whole different uh, world out there, and police really are powerless now mm -hmm. to, to stop it and the people who are dying uh, in that. So we're going to be talking about that. Uh, and then also, is Ron DeSantis missing his moment? I know you guys are covering yep. the speech uh, that he is giving now that he gave earlier in New York. Uh, a lot of Republicans want him to come out and announce, and he's not, and we'll get into the timing of that. All right. Leland Vitter, thank you. As, as always, and a reminder, you can watch Leland's show on balance. It is every night, 7 Eastern, right after rush hour. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.